Tripura Fort lies on a 70-meter-high promontory guarding the mouth of the Shapura River, which lies to the north. The approach road winds along the river through Shapura village on its east side. A short walk up a paved path brings us to the main entrance. Hello everybody. So here we are at Shapura Fort. This was built by Adil Shah of Bijapur, later taken over by the Portuguese and then finally again abandoned at a later stage when the Portuguese acquired the properties after Pernem. Let's go inside and take a look. This here, what we're seeing is the main, what's left of the main entrance. This leads through a barrel vaulted vestibule. The parapet is of small blocks. Embrasures have commanding views from the bastions. This bastion is uh, delineated by this parapet of laterite rock and in between the parapet there are irregular embrasures. These were probably for the cannon. And what is the key feature of uh, this fort is the presence of these cylindrical turrets and probably a lookout post with views on three So this turret is one of the peculiar features of the fort. You have Baga Beach and you get a good view of the Arabian Sea. There are unpaved wall walks along the parapets. One of them traverses the north side with a view of Pernem district. This was the last boundary for all the southern rulers, whether it was Adil Shah or the Portuguese. And it was overlooking this Shapura river which formed the northernmost boundary. So here behind me you can see the Shapura river. In 1683, the Marathas under Sambaji crossed this river and overran the fort, but they had to retreat soon after. The fort walls and bastions were then extensively reconstructed. A small gate leads to the fortalice below. It was built to control river traffic. The quay is still in use by local fishing boats. The Bhosles of Savantwadi captured the fort and then held on to it for two years. However, after the Portuguese conquered Pernem, the fort lost its importance. It was abandoned in 1892. Within the fort walls is an undulating plateau covered with wild grasses. Sadly, no structures have survived. In this large open area, villagers took refuge from the Maratha raids. Wildflowers like dandelions and touch-me-nots shelter in the hollows. Exuberant blooms of paper flower climber and giant milkweed edge the ramparts. While a stand of fig trees frames the Arabian Sea below, nature slips in to reclaim herself. <laughs>